Assalamualaikum. Hi. This is the continuation of the Bioreactor Engineering Part 1. And uh, this slide presentation will be on the modeling growth kinetic. You can refer to textbook written by Shula and Kargi. The Bioprocess Engineering Basic Concept 2nd Edition by Prentice Hall. You can read in Chapter 6. Okay, class. The cellular composition and biosynthetic capabilities change in response to the new growth condition, which is known as unbalanced growth. The constant cellular composition and balanced growth predominates only in exponential growth phase. If the decelerating growth phase is due to substrate depletion, meaning that uh, less of substrate in the medium, rather than due to production inhibition, then the growth rate it will decrease with respect to decreasing of substrate concentration. Complete description of growth kinetics of a culture would involve recognition of the structured nature of each cell and the segregation of the culture into individuals, unit or cells that may differ from each other. We have two different models, which are the first one is structured models, the other one is unstructured models. The structured models it is a model which divides cell mass into components by molecule or by element and predicts how these components change as a result of growth. So these models are very complex and not very used often. The next one is unstructured model. So this model it assumes balanced growth where cell components do not change with time, much less complex and much more commonly use, is used, the value for batch growth during exponential growth stage and also for continuous cell culture during a steady state operation. So mostly used is this unstructured models. As being mentioned before in the previous lecture, the main equation used in the growth kinetic is the Monod equation. You have to remember this Monod equation. Okay, and all the variables, parameters involved in the Monod equation, especially you need to know how to get the mu max or mu m, the maximum specific cell growth rate from the graph of x versus t or ln x versus t and also how to get the ks value from the graph of mu versus s this is the batch culture growth model okay as we mentioned in the lecture before, this equation mu equals to 1 over x dx dt, which is equivalent to the monad equation mu m s over k s plus s. Okay, this is very important equation. Okay. Then, if there is a changes in s to changes in x through y x s, okay, so from the equation of x minus x naught equals to y x s times s naught minus s. You rearrange so it becomes s equals to s naught plus x naught over y x s minus x over y x s. Okay. Then substitute in the equation in s. Later, you will get the below equation here. dx over dt equals to mu m x s note y x s plus s note minus s 
over ks y x s plus s note y x s plus s x note minus x times x okay where t is at zero and x is equivalent at x note okay so the equation for y x s okay here x minus x note equals to y x s times x s note minus s okay uh in order, if you use this equation you may able to find the yield coefficient of cell concentration over substrate which is it will become y x s equals to s note initial value of substrate minus the final value of substrate over x the concentration of cell minus x note the initial concentration of cell so by using the equation you may able to determine the yield coefficient of cell concentration over substrate then by rearranging the previous equation dxdt after substitution of s value of equation then you will get this equation known as logistic equation now you have to integrate the previous equation okay then you will get this equation all right so this equation the logistic equation it describes the stick model shape growth curve so the value of s sorry of x x okay asymptotically it reached to the value of y x s s node plus x node okay so the plot that corresponds to the rate expression where we have x infinite here is the maximum cell mass which is also known as a carrying capacity usually this logistic equation is being used in order to predict any variable value value okay any variable parameters uh, related to the fermentation okay such as uh, what is the final of cell concentration that we will get what is the final uh, substrate concentration Okay, and uh, what is the the yield of um, cell over substrate? Okay, so we can use this uh, logistic equation. Do the logistic equation qualitatively predicts the shape of batch growth? However, it is not very useful in order for you to determine the Ks and mu max value. Okay. Then, what you have to do is, you have to plot a graph of mu versus s, like the one below here. Okay. In order for you to determine the Ks value, right? And in order to determine the mu max value, you have to plot a graph of ln x over t or graph x over t. Okay, here it shows the graph of x, ln x over x node versus t. It also can be used. But normally, we used a graph x over t or ln x over t. Okay. Please do problem 6.1 okay, in the textbook, in the Schuller and Kargi textbook. Then you will have the idea how to identify the mu max and the Ks value by using the data given in the problem. In the production from the fermentation, we might be able to identify the productivity of the fermentation. So, what is the productivity? Productivity 
Okay, it is being identified for cell mass or growth associated product. Okay, then uh, in the fermentation, usually we are using the batch fermentation. Okay, so in, it is also known as a batch culture. We, uh, we will assume that KD is equals to zero because of we're talking about the growth associated product which is referring to the product produced at the exponential phase where the KD is equivalent to zero there is no death uh, rate okay and the QP is equals to zero the rate of product formation at the beginning is equals to zero okay it started to the product is started to produce uh, as the cell is growing okay so here you can see rb rb is equals is uh, denoted denotation of rate of cell mass production in batch culture okay in one batch cycle and you can determine this rb okay by using the equation of xm minus x over tc which is also equivalent to y m y maximum of cell concentration over substrate gear coefficient times s node over tc okay so tc is a batch cycle time where it can be determined from 1 over mu max times ln xm over x node plus tl tl is the lag uh, time uh, for harvesting and preparation okay so uh, from the equation here I would like you to identify all those terms uh, in this equation what is SM what, what is S node what is X okay uh, in order for you to understand more on the equation The total amount of cell mass produced, okay, you can uh, identify from the equation of xm minus x node equals to y x s times s node, okay. And the rate of cell mass production in one batch culture, which is denoted by R B, is okay given by the equation three here, alright, okay. Then after you substitute, if you can see here is x minus xm minus x to so substitute the value uh, the equation okay y x s s node that's why it get this equation number three okay and then where tl is the sum of times required for the lag phase harvesting and preparation and if the volume of the bioreactor is given then the productivity you can determine by using equation four here vr is the volume of the reactor during the reaction it's not the volume that be, can be occupied by in the reactor but it's the volume that being used during the reaction okay it's a working volume 